So my real name is Eve Ferguson, and my derby name is Bad Acid. Um, it's always scary trying something new, but I had a little bit of experience skiing, so I kind of understood the skate motion. But I think the biggest draw for me was just being with a big group of strong women and having something to do extracurricular outside of my studies. You know, when I was younger, I really loved skating. I was a rink brat. I was there all the time. And so when I got a little older and had kind of gotten out of it, I came to this rink here at Funky's. And the ladies told me that there was a roller derby team in town. I came to the next home bout, fell in love, and I was at the very next practice. Actually, for me, the hardest part is, truthfully, like just the balance of time. I have a family and a young child and a demanding work. So for me, I love roller derby so much, I try to make it work. I would say since it is kind of a, a grassroots or underground sport, you notice a lot of, even teams outside of Harrisonburg's team, there's just a community that if you went to another city, you'd be invited into another team's family, you'd get to skate with them. Um, our drive is just to improve personally, and so it's really competitive, but at the same time, it's really look at what you can do now and just try and be better yourself. So I really appreciate that. It's just so inspiring to see these women uh, just build each other up and be able to just be in their own element. This is our team, we're family. We see each other twice a week. And, um, I mean, and we know it's practice, like I've gotten hit in the face every now and then, and it's not good. <laughs> but I forgive and forget because I know I've accidentally hit people in the face. I've accidentally done bad pill on these. Um, it's, it's just one of those uh, family bonds. <laughs> really rigorous boot camp uh, screening, if you will, so that we teach people how to fall safely and how to hit safely so that you're making sure the people you play against are safe and you yourself are safe. And so just practicing that on a daily basis gives me enough confidence that I'll, if I do fall, if I do slam into someone, I'm not going to hit anywhere vital and break any bones. It's, it still could happen. Um, I Yes, I have been injured. Um, I actually tore my ACL a few seasons ago, um, and it was a very challenging recovery, but um, everybody stayed in support of me, and I was able to, to come here and still participate, even though I wasn't physically able to skate. So, of course, that risk is out there, um, and not everybody gets hurt, uh, but I can say from, from my experience, obviously, it can happen. I feel like the Rocktown Rollers have a really good relationship with the city of Harrisonburg. Obviously, I've only been on this team for a year, but I see we'll go out, people will know us, or um, us getting sponsored by Three Notch, the brewery. We have a connection. We volunteer at quite a few different charities. We have found that communities love their roller derby teams. Uh, roller derby is not just about us being out there on the track and hitting each other around. Um, it's really about more than that. It's about supporting the communities that we're in and vice versa, those communities giving back to us as well. It's just wonderful to see all these women just build each other up and just knock them down and be able to pick them right back up, right? So like we hit them, knock them down, and get right back up.